G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, recently I got this set of cobalt drills from Banggood and I reviewed them and I, I gave them a 10 out of 10. They are really, really good and uh, I've used them quite a bit since, strictly in the lathe because um, I don't want to screw up the, the finish on the, on the shanks. You know, they're beautifully made and they're razor sharp and uh, yeah, I just think these are the, about the best, one of the best things I've got out of Banggood to date and uh, yeah, great drills. And I was looking at them and when I used them I uh, spot drilled the end of the, at the end of the job with a centre drill. <laughs> which is a bad habit of mine, I, I tend to do that. I have got spot drills, but, you know, until recently they were always buried away in the drawer and I thought I'd better drag them out. And when I was looking at them, I'll show you what they look like. Yeah, this is one of them here, and a double-ended thing. And uh, now these tips are 130 degrees. And when I looked at the spot drills I've got, they're only about 110. Now that's really wrong. I mean, obviously it's a lot better than using a centre drill, which is totally wrong. I mean, but bad habits. A lot of people do that. Yeah, I'm guilty of that. And uh, and quite often um, you'll get by with that. You know, it'll do the job, but you got a good chance of breaking the tip off the centre drill, of course, which invariably happens. So anyway, I thought I really should get some 130 degree. Uh, spot drills. Anyway, I've got some coming in from Bangwood and they're uh, the 8% cobalt, so they'll be harder than these drills, which will be a good thing. Because, I mean, you know, if you've got cobalt and you're drilling really hard stuff, well, a normal high speed steel uh, spot drill may not make much impression on it, you don't know. So, anyway, I'm getting some cobalt ones, so stay tuned for a review on this. You know, it got me thinking, I thought, you know, these aren't really the right angle for these. I mean, they're better than nothing. Um, but I should have, should have some 130 degree ones. And I thought, well, hang on, here's a good opportunity uh, to actually salvage some of my broken uh, centre drills. Now, any spot drill really should be a wider angle than the drill that's going to, well, as wide or wider than the than the drill angle that you're using. So if it's, if it's you know, if I machine some up to 130 and the drills I'm using are say 110 or you know 100, it's not going to matter really because the spot drill will still do its job. So anyway, the, today's job is I'm going to salvage some old centre drills and some broken drills as well. And I'm just going to use that little uh, DC powered 775 grinder and I'm just going to rework the end so that they are of the broken drill so that they are actually uh, symmetrical and then I'll just grind a bit of back relief from probably by hand and uh, they'll be okay spot drills okay I'll show you what I've got to work with right well down here is a collection of my broken centre drills from over the years and uh, some have got one end gone and some have got both ends but anyway uh, I can rework the broken end to a spot drill and it'll be you know useful I also yeah I put this on the lathe not long ago this was some junk I picked up off the side of the road it's one of those sort of tool caddy thing rack things they're pretty useless that you can buy you screw to the wall and they have screwdrivers and spaces for hammers and all that. I mean, they don't do it. They, they really don't work very well, I don't think. And uh, I was going to give it to the brother-in-law and for one of his kids and then I, I thought, oh, nice little tubs in it. So I, I cut the tubs out and I used that for my centre drills and spot drills. So rather than having to fight around in amongst the shims and everything, I've got them handy and it'll get me you know, the habit of using a spot drill more often. So anyway, these are what I'm going to work on. I'm going to re-machine re and, yeah, it should be handy. And, 
yeah, I'd be able to use both ends, you know, and get some more life out of them. It's all right, let's do it. Okay, so this is the setup. We've got our cross slide set at 65 degrees. That will give you a combined angle of 130. And I'm spinning the chuck at a 465, which is a good speed. You can spin in either direction, doesn't really matter. And I'm going to be running the 775 motor at 32 volts. And it's going to spin fast. How fast? Who knows, but it'll do the job. Quick as that. So that's the finished article. Now there's no need to dress these cheap shit stones that you can pick up for, you know from the hardware store. They'll do the job. At the end of the day, we're going. It's not going to matter because we're going to finish this on the lunisher anyway. And uh, no, these cheapo stones, they work fine for this sort of work. And uh, yeah. I'll get on with it some more grinding. broken drill stubs as well just grind to the correct angle and then just do the back relief by hand that's a big um, center drill another broken drill uh, here's a one that's broken on one end I've made it into a spot drill and it's still good on the other end so yeah you can salvage your broken um, center drills and your just your useless drill stubs, turn them into something practical, just put a 130 degree angle on them and then just grind a bit of back relief. But to do it you need to be set up properly and as I said, you know, a little TPG is the way to go. Here's a closer look at the finish and you can see they all came up nicely. You have to use an magnifying glass when you do this so that you can, you know, get everything lined up beautifully and do a nice job. You don't need a lot of back relief, just a, just a tad. And uh, save yourself quite a lot of money because these little buggers are damn expensive for what they are. I did a video about that years ago. They're a terrible price really, but to grind an end like that is pretty tricky going. I mean, it has to be done properly. So, oh well, that's the way it is, but certainly it's a pity to waste them just because the tip's broken off and you really should, as I said, you should use spot drills for some jobs <laughs> and not uh, misuse your, uh, your centre drills. So there you go, there's a salvage one, another one, another one there, one there, one there, one there. You know, don't, uh, don't check them out. They're all usable. Really good. So there you have it. Another use for the 775 DC powered uh, power spindle. 
it's like a little, it's like a little toothpaste grinder, really, like my, like my wall down, only it's shrunk uh, when I put it in the washing machine. And uh, yeah, maybe it's having babies, I don't know. But anyway, uh, once again, super useful, can do stuff you couldn't do any other way, and uh, gets 100% accurate. This is just using those cheap stones that you can buy in the hardware stores for like, you know, peanuts really. You know, you get a kit with a whole lot of different shapes. These work fine for the sort of job. The grit is not uh, too coarse and uh, yeah, did a good job as you saw. So anyway, that's it from me. It's raining again. Uh, winter's here in Adelaide, so see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>